Hey guys, hope everyone's doing okay. Uh, so I got a new wheelchair and I'm super stoked about it. Um, I wanted to kind of give my review on it. Uh, I'm not in the chair now that I just realized that's probably weird that I'm starting this video out not in the chair, but in the next clip I will be. <laughs> If you guys know me, you know I have been needing a new wheelchair for years now. I have been using where I was using the same old rackety chair that was falling apart, missing an armrest for four years, um, but I had gotten it used off of Craigslist, so it was already, you know, not in the best condition to begin with. So anyway, I am just stoked to get this new chair. Um, <laughs> I got it, uh, I actually got it for free because I, thankfully, I'm so grateful. I was in the hospital, I'm not grateful for that, but I'm always in the hospital, and um, when one of my admissions, I happened to mention to someone um, in the hospital that I needed a wheelchair. I was like, you know, I'm really due for a new chair, I've been using the same old chair for like forever, and it was huge and really heavy, we would call it the elephant. Um, so I really needed a new chair, um, needed a new chair. And to my surprise, when I got home, my new Drive Cruiser 3 was here waiting for me. And I was stoked because I, first I was told I would need a PT evaluation uh, in order to get the chair. And I was like, okay, I'm up for that. I've had, I do PT a lot, so no big deal. But then uh, they looked at my chart and saw all my uh, diagnoses, diagnoses um, and I guess they just realized and knew that I needed a chair um, since I had already been using one for several years and it happened in a matter of I think five days or four days, maybe even three days um, from the time I had mentioned it. Um, like I said, when I got home from the hospital, it was already here. so. Thank you so much to um, whoever arranged this. Uh, I wish I remembered their names. Um, but anyway, I just kind of wanted to go over a few things about my new chair. Um, it's much smaller, like I said, uh, than, the, than the old one. It is, this one is the seat at least is 16 inches wide. I know it can go up to 20 inches, but I'm a very small gal, so this is much better suited for me. Uh, this is, I believe, 35 pounds, so that makes it much easier for my caregivers um, who have to pick my chair up and transport it to, you know, the car and whatnot. Uh, my old one was, I don't know, maybe 50 pounds or more. It was really heavy. Um, shout out to Chelsea, my friend who one day picked up me in the chair up maybe, it was either up or down two or three flight of stairs. I don't remember which, but my elevator was broken and she is amazing. She picked up me in this chair and oh, she's a champ. Love you, Chelsea. <laughs> um, but now, hopefully nobody will have to do that, but if... If so, this is super light and, uh, whew, okay, I'm trying to 360, but I don't have the room to do that. So yeah, uh, this one is much lighter and um, it has some other cool features that my other chair didn't have. Um, they were both manual, they had a lot in common, but, you know, other than the size and the weight difference, the other difference is, here I'm going to back up to see if you could see this, uh, hopefully you guys can see this. Um, if you can't, it's basically, I'll just try to describe it as best as I can. It is, um, so the footrests actually have little 
uh, bands behind them, behind each of them, so that your feet can actually rest on them. So you don't have to like hold your feet on the footrest, you know, yourself, if that makes any sense. Um, it's much easier. I have a lot of muscle weakness. And so this is just one of my favorite features about the chair. Um, and like I said, if you guys can see that, I'm so sorry, but um, this is really one of my favorite features. I love this about this chair. It makes it much more comfortable, <clears throat> especially when I have to go to long doctor's appointments and I am in my chair for sometimes hours and hours in these appointments. Um, that really helps because I get exhausted. Um, so yeah, what else about this chair? It is much easier I feel like to wheel around and I don't know if that's because it is lighter or or what that's probably it but we have carpet in our apartment so that's another thing I'm really grateful for with this wheelchair is it's much easier for me to wheel myself around uh, in it um, and let's see I think I mentioned that the seat is 16 inches wide um, it also comes in 18 and 20 inches and the, the back of the seat, I have a pillow because <clears throat> I have serious spine problems so I cannot go without this pillow um, and it's not because the chair is uncomfortable in the back, it's just like I said because I have really bad spine problems. So, um, but yeah, the back of the seat um, is 16 inches tall and um, I believe <laughs> and the you know, one of the only things I don't like is that I, um, it gets a little uncomfortable for my tush when I'm sitting for long periods of time. Um, it doesn't have much cushion here. Now, it does have more than my previous wheelchair, so it's not the worst, <laughs> but it could be better. I need to get like a cushion for my bum, so that is more comfortable. Um, and I am a full-time wheelchair user. Um, I guess I should have mentioned that I use a wheelchair um, because, well, several reasons, mainly because I have POTS, postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, and uh, hypo, uh, hypovolemia, and hypovolemia and POTS kind of go, go hand in hand. Um, hypovolemia means low blood volume, so I don't have enough blood in my body. Um, and so if and when I stand up, my blood pools to my lower extremities and I don't have enough blood pumping up to my heart and my brain. So I get super dizzy, super nauseous. Sometimes I black out, I faint, um, not often because I sit down a lot, but if I sit up more and walk more, I'd be fainting all the time. And I've already had a lot of falls, which has contributed to the second reason I'm in my chair, which is my spinal cord injury, um, I have myelopathy and a lot of spinal problems, so that's the second reason I am in a chair full time. Um, <laughs> my kitty is going crazy. Um, I don't know if you guys could see her running all over the place. And what are you doing, hon? Uh, baby girl. I was going to introduce you to my new cat, but she's just like all over the place right now. So I don't think right now is the best time. But anyway, um, I hope that helped anyone who is interested in maybe getting a um, Drive Cruiser 3. Um, like I said, I was, uh, my, my insurance covered it and I, so I don't know how much it is, but um, like I said, I think it is it's worth it because for like a, I guess, standard type of wheelchair, it has, it has a lot of cool features. Oh, the other, one of the other thing, I, uh, I have, I'm having bad brain fog again today and I'm not able to speak properly. Words are hard today, so bear with me, guys. So, um, one of the other features is that you can, uh, lift up the arms. There's like a, there's these latches where you can just like lift them up. Um, which is great for transport as well. Um, <laughs> and yeah, so I think that is all of the features that I know of. Um, anyway, I'm still new to the chair, so I might discover some new ones. Um, yeah, I'm so, I'm so grateful for this chair. Um, it helps me get around. 
and um, if I didn't have a wheelchair, I would be, I'm already bed bound, but if I didn't have the chair, I would be, I wouldn't be going anywhere. <laughs> Let's just say that. So. so guys, if you like this video, please give it a like. Uh, I would really appreciate that. Um, and subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this, more chronic illness videos. Um, and make sure to click the bell to get notifications on when I post a new video. I'll see you guys later. Bye.